By the end of this video, you all are going to learn how to obliterate the Pianta slots in Paper Mario TPYD, and we're starting right now. Hello everybody, and welcome back to all my subscribers. My name is Arantula, and here, we redefine the challenge in challenge running. Stay up to date with tips that'll help you master games you play by clicking subscribe down below. Now, the Pianta Parlor is a bit of a side thing in Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, and a cute little mini game has to do with the Pianta slots. Now, it's widely believed that the slots are completely random and that there is no concrete way to guarantee you hit all three sevens all the time. This is entirely untrue, and I'm here to explain why. But before we start, allow me to enlighten you with some information about the slots so you understand better how they operate. Each slot machine has three wheels. For each wheel, you will see four pictures of Don Pianta, the owner of the Pianta Parlor, three pictures of a single star, and one picture of a seven. We're aiming for the seven. It costs one token to start up the game. If you match up three Don Piantas, you will return get three tokens. If you match up three stars, you get back 15 tokens. And if you match up three sevens, you receive back a whopping 100 tokens. The slots roll by very fast, showing you one picture every three frames or 1 20th of a second. A full slot rotation is made after every 24 frames. And for future reference, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door operates at 60 frames per second. What you want to do is watch for an orange flash, as that orange flash is the 7 that you want to hit. And you want to press the A button just a few frames instead before the orange flash shows up, and that's how you land on the 7. It will be difficult. Look at it like this. You have a 3 frame window, so you effectively have the length of a super guard to press the A button to get it. Except here, it's harder. You need to have three consecutive super guards, basically, in order to get the jackpot. After a while, you can get consistent with it. And at that point, you can rake in hundreds of piantas per minute. 